soil. Soil is the topmost layer of earth's crust which is a mixture of minerals, organic matter, humus, water, air and microorganisms. In the earlier class, you have read about soil in detail. For agricultural practices, soil is one of the most important factors. It is therefore necessary to revise about different types of soil in brief. The important soil types are clay soil. This soil is the mixture of clay and sand particles. The percentage of clay is too high and sand is too less. It is sticky soil where aeration is poor. Water retaining capacity is high and such soils get waterlogged. Thus, due to poor aeration and more water, roots cannot breathe and it is difficult for plants to survive. This soil is not good for plants. Sandy soil In this type of soil, the percentage of sand is very high, 70 to 80 percent. The pore spaces are large, hence water retaining capacity is low. The minerals are washed away from this particular horizon of soil. This soil is good for crops provided water and fertilizers are given. Loamy soil Loam is a mixture of clay and sand almost in equal amount. Soil is porous, having sufficient aeration. Water retaining capacity is very high. It contains lot of humus which also helps in water retention. This is the best soil for crops. Acidic soil Soil in which pH value is below 7 is called acidic soil. In the region of high rainfall, soils are acidic because basic salts, calcium, magnesium, potassium, sodium are leached and acidic salts, iron, aluminium and silicon are left. This soil is not good for agriculture. Only few plants can be grown as rice, oat, linseed. This soil is reclaimed by adding lime in form of calcium carbonate. Alkali soil. These are mostly whitish and commonly known as usar. This soil has pH more than 7. The percentage of alkali salts, sodium and potassium is more. This soil is not good for agricultural crops, but certain crops can be grown as barley, paddy, bursim, sorghum, cotton, grapes, etc. Alkali soil can be reclaimed by 1. Application of gypsum, calcium sulphate 2. Use of acid-forming chemicals or sulphur 3. Alkali salts can be removed by scraper, deep ploughing or running water 4. Application of green manure or by molasses and press mud mixture Activity Experiment To test whether soil is acidic or alkaline Method Take about 25 grams of soil in a test tube and add 50 milliliter of water to make soil solution and same amount of barium sulphate is added. Now, shake the solution and wait for some time to settle it. In the clear solution, dip litmus paper and see the color of the litmus paper. Observation If the litmus paper becomes red, acidic soil. If it becomes blue, alkaline soil. Activity Take three types of soil, clay, sandy and loamy, in equal amount in three different funnels over filter paper and then keep them over measuring selectors as shown in figure. Pour 100 milliliter of water in each funnel. Wait for about an hour and note the level of water in each cylinder in your record book in the following way. Results 1. Cylinder A Here amount of water retained is more than it has passed. This shows more water retaining capacity. 2. Cylinder B. Here water passed at faster rate and maximum quantity due to large sized sand particles and pore spaces. This shows very poor water retaining capacity. 3. Cylinder C. This cylinder has more water than A and less than B due to mixture of clay and sandy soil. This has moderate water retaining capacity.